Okay, again, welcome to PH775. This is again our number three QGIS lab work. Again, this course is PH775, Public Health Geographic Information. Now go back to week nine. Again, we finished the M1, T1, M1, T2. Now we are on M1, T3. So this is my M1, T3 file. Now, in order to do the M1, T3, I have to finish the M1, T2, which is the lab two for my J1, uh, because we are going to use that file. So the first thing they tell us is to open the file. So I click on project open, then I'll go to M1, T2, and I'm going to open the file. Actually, they say we should save it as the following. Again, I'm going to leave the name as it is. And then uh, we don't have to do much here. Just change the destination. And then from there, we are going to start to view the metadata. So the first thing, let me open the file. So I'll go to open. And this is my M1T2 QGIS. Then I'm going to open it. Yeah, so I have my file open now. And up to here, so I open the file. Now they say we should view the metadata. So I'm going to select the hospital location layer. Then I'm going to right click on it, then go to the properties section then choose the metadata. So again, the hospital location, and I'll go to properties. And here we are going to, again, hospital location layer, go to properties option, then we choose the metadata, but we are going to enter some items here. So let's fill out the metadata fields. Uh, again, these are the fields we're going to fill, but I'm just going to type anything there. The goal here is creating the meta. Metadata is a data about a data set. So this will be the description about the data. Possible we fill out the email. And then next, we are going to fill out the access tab as follow. Click on it. So I'm just going to enter ANA data for now. So that's the main goal here up to this section, how we can again create our mental data, basically just describing what our data is about. So again, the hospital location is what I'm doing. So I right click on it and I click on properties and I come see it. Then when I come here, I'm going to look for the mental data. Then when we get the mental data, then we can enter the again, the information. So I'll click on mental data here. And so again, here you have to enter your own information. So I'm just going to make it very short here. I don't want to go through this lab, uh, enter exact name. So parent identifier, I'm going to give it ID 347 and then and identifier can be 3475. The title can be Hospital Australia. And the type is a data set, I'll leave it there. The language is English or any options we have here, we can enter, but it should be English. And we may have the option for or let's choose any language here in Finland or something. Abstract, maybe this is hospital type and location data. Or you can enter any information there. So this will be the identification of the information, but mm -hmm. the identity of the hospital location. Now, what category the data fall on? We can choose any because for example, we have the, if it's boundaries or there's elevation, we can choose. Here, yeah, I'm going to include it that it's elevation. And if there's ocean or location, this will be hospital, so it's a location. 
Uh, if you think it's intelligence, military, society, whatever information you want. Then we also can, when we finish, we're going to click apply, then click OK also. Then if there's any keyword we can include, we include it. We saw the access. If you want to enter any access information, uh, fees or anything, we can enter any information. So the new license, just enter anything. And the rights, uh, maybe copyright or any any rights, if there's any constraints. Then next then contact can be the person, maybe it's me, my name, the role. So what we are doing again, a mental data means data or description about something or data about data. So here we are giving informing general information about hospital locations. In this case, for example, contact will be maybe the person in charge if you want to contact about the hospital location information. Uh, I'm a technician, I work for a hospital, etc. So that would be the first section to create, creating a mental data. Again, go to properties, select mental data, then any categories, we can enter any information about the data. So mental data will be the description of the data set. Now, next section, we are going to learn how to import a new data set of different formats. So, so far in this course, again, we have had a data in a shape file format, uh, the vector, the raster, but there are also many other data format QGIS concepts. So one other format is WFS, which is Web Feature Service. We are going to put the national polluted inventory data from this website. So to do so, we go to our browser panel. Then we'll right click on the WFS and select new connection. Then we need to fill out this information. Let me see if I can be able to copy and paste it. Copy the link. So let's go back. We go to our, I'm going to close this. So this is our browse area. We look for WFX, let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, this is it here. Yeah. So here we select the WFS. Then fill out the information given here. So I'm just going to click on it. Click on new connection. And the URL I'm going to enter here. Yeah, I'm going to enter the same information. So let's see the pollutant, national pollutant inventory. So national pollutant. Inventory. Then we should notice that the WFS has been added to the browser. So here we have the configuration. Now here yeah, they say to add the WFS to the layers panel, we should double click on the national polluted inventory. But when we finish, we should notice that the WFS will be added to the browser. And let's look at our browser if it's there. Uh, we click OK. Now let's look at our WBS, it's right here. So we can click on it. And that should give us the link. So we have the link and the name. The name is underneath it. Now, the next is to export the existing data set. 
So yeah, in case you want to store a copy of the national polluted inventory, you can export the data set in a multitude of formats. Now to do so, we select the national pollutant inventory from the layers. Then we right click, choose. So let's do that first. We go to the layers. Now we should know the difference between the browser and also the layer. So this is our layer section. Let's take it. So we can see the layers we're supposed to have a national pollutant inventory. And for some reason, we don't have it. I have it here, but why it's not here? It's open. Well, let's double click on it, see if we can open it. Normally, any item that is open should show up in our okay so now we open it now so we can see the national polluted inventory actually when we open it we can see the dots so now it's open so you can see that here we export this data from the website given to us uh, which is this website so if you go to data.gov.australia or au geo server etc this is the data set. So to import any data from any website, again, we go to the WFS. When we open the WFS connection, we can name it any name we want to, but we need to copy the URL here. Then we click OK, that's it. Then double click on it to open from the browser. And as we did that, we saw our file is so now if I will check it, we will see that the data will be gone. So I'm going to so this data we as we export it as far as we know the the URL address, we can export the data from anywhere. Now to export the data again, the first thing we need to do is come to the WFS. So come to the WFS, open. Uh, right click on it to open a new connection and the name can be any name gh any name you want but here is very important uh, i don't have any data link here so i have to use the same link again and i'll click ok so you will see that when i look at the wfs here now we should have two see the other one is the one I just did right now is ghana now Ghana NAN. Now it's not open. So I look at the layers, it's not open. So I'm going to double click on it to open it. But again, it's going to be the same file. So let's see how it will be. So it's opening now. We see that it's double now, it's more thicker. And then we can see that it's also here. The name is also here now. So again, that's the steps. And I think that will be the conclusion of these lectures. And then exporting an existing database, we can also, this is importing. This is import a new data set. We, now exporting data set, we have to know the source we are exporting it to. So here they gave us some step. Let's follow the step here, see if we can export it. So in case you want to store a copy of a national polluted inventory, you can, again, export the data set in a multitude of format. To do so, the first thing we have to go again, right-click on the what we want to export, national polluted inventory from the layers. Then we click on export, save us. So we can export it to anywhere, even to our hard drive, any location in your computer. So let's do it. So I'll go to the National Polluter, right click on it. Then we should see export to, export to where? Save feature as, 
or uh, save as a layer definition or uh, to any QGI. So let's select the first option. Uh, the file name, you can give it any name you want. Oh, well, sorry, let's look at the instruction, what name they want us to use. Actually, here yeah, we are going to save it as a feature. And we are going to type the name here, save it as key old markup language, and the type. And also the file name is given. And I think that will be the conclusion for our lectures. So in this lectures, again, we learn how to both import and export files. And also at the beginning, we learn about how to create the mental data, then import and export different spatial data. Again, I'm not going to save my file. Uh, I'll click OK. So I export it to my, my hard drive. And I'm going to exit here. So this will be our conclusion for lab three. And hopefully we shall go to our last lab for major one, which will be our lab four. So I'm going to end this recording.